My name is Astha and today I'm going to show you how to play this really quick game Criss Cross. Criss Cross is a quick 1 to 6 players roll and write game. Here you roll the dice, mark the symbols on your sheet and try to get the most matching symbols in a row. For every set of matching symbols in rows and columns, you get some points and the highest score wins the game. Give a sheet and pencil to all the players. There are six symbols in the game, which can be seen on all the faces of the dice. Each of you chooses a symbol on any one of the faces and draws it in this corner box. Both the dice have all the same faces. This game has a simple, advanced and solo version. Let's see how to play the simple version first. Crisscross is played in rounds. Choose a player amongst you to start. They roll both the dice and now all of you, including the player who rolled the dice, have to draw the symbols which roll out. This area is for writing scores, so don't draw here. Apart from that, you can draw them anywhere in the boxes on your sheet. But a tiny rule to note here, both the symbols must be drawn either horizontally or vertically next to each other. For example, you can draw these symbols this way or even this way, but not away from each other and not diagonally like this. Keep all score sheets open for everyone playing to see, so you can correct your friends if they are making any mistake in these drawing rules. The same way, the next person rolls the dice and everyone draws symbols on their sheet. Try not to leave any single spaces during the game, because if you are left in such a situation, you will have to leave that space blank. The game ends after 12 rounds. By that time, almost everybody's sheet would be filled up and now it is time to score. Score each row and each column separately. For every two matching symbols that you have made next to each other in a row or a column, give two points. For every three matching symbols the same way, give three points. For every four matching symbols, it is eight points like it's here. And if the whole row or column is the same symbol, it is 10 points. For no matching symbols in a row or column, it is zero points. The bracket scoring will be used for advanced play, so you don't need to look at it now. Here is an example to help you understand better. So when we look at our first row, there are two matching triangles next to each other, that is two points. In the next row, there are two hashes next to each other, that is again two points. Here in the third row, there are no matching symbols at all, so that is zero points. In the fourth row, there are two circles next to each other, that's two points again. And in the fifth row, there are actually three slant lines, but only two of them are next to each other. So that's two matching symbols. That is again two points. Now let's move on to our columns. And in the first column, there are three hashes next to each other. That is three points. In the second column, we do have two lines, but they are not next to each other. So it's actually zero points. In the third column, there are four circles next to each other, which is great because that is eight points. The fourth column is a little bit of a special case. You can see that there are two crosses next to each other at the top and then there are these lines next to each other as well. So there are two sets of two matching symbols, 2 plus 2 equals 4 points. And in the fifth row there are again no matching symbols at all and that is 0 points. After all the rows and columns are scored, total it and that is the final score. The player with the highest number of points in the end is the winner. In case of a tie, whoever has the highest single line scored in a row or column is the winner. If you want to add a little more competition, you can also play the advanced version. The setup and gameplay remains exactly the same, but here in the end, we score this diagonal line of shaded boxes as well. Whatever you score here, write it at the top as well as the bottom of this diagonal line. This means this score is counted twice. Also, wherever you have no matching symbols, you get minus 5 instead of 0, like it's shown in these brackets. 
At the end, totally your points the same way we did before, and the one with the highest score is the winner. If you want to play solo, all the rules are exactly the same. But to see where you lie in the ranks, compare your final score to this chart in the rule book, and you'll know how good or how bad you did. It's simple, it's quick, and it's a lot of fun. That's how you play Criss Cross. Hope you liked our video and if you're wondering where you can get this game Criss Cross, the link is flashing on the screen right now and it is also available in the description. This game has been made in India by Yes Papa Games and we have made a lot of videos of a lot of different games by Yes Papa Games, the link to which is here in the corner, you can go and check it out.